Look, plenty of sounds are loud and scary. But there's a certain blood-curdling quality to screams in particular that sets them apart from other noises. They can elicit these visceral feelings that pretty much everyone can relate to. But what exactly is it about screams that evokes that response? Do you want to see my new tank on, hockey mask? Oh, sorry. Screams are about survival. A bear stumbles into your campsite, you scream. If a baby gets hungry, it screams. Some idiot interrupts your shower, you scream. They're also a staple of the horror genre. Scary movies have been using screams for decades to shock and unsettle audiences. And it doesn't seem to matter what movie it's in or even how often they show up. Those screams get you every single time. Why is that? In 2015, researchers led by New York University neuroscientist David Poppel set out to isolate what makes screams so unnerving. When the researchers compared the acoustic properties of shrieks from movies and YouTube videos and volunteer screamers to those of more neutral sounds like human speech and music, they noticed something interesting. The neutral sounds fluctuated in volume between four and five times per second, but the screams? they wavered in loudness between 30 and 150 times per second. This fluctuation happens too fast for you to be able to discern a distinct rise and fall in volume, but it does lend the noise a certain auditory roughness. And interestingly, the researchers also heard that roughness in house and car alarms. And here's what I mean by roughness. Listen to these two tones. Those were actually the same tone, but the second one was modified to increase its roughness. Makes a pretty big difference, right? The researchers also performed fMRI brain scans of test subjects while they listened to rough and neutral sounds. All of the sounds caused blood to flow to the auditory cortex, which you would expect. But rough sounds, like screams, also caused blood to rush to the amygdala, a region of the brain associated with processing fear and danger. We already knew that screams scare us. What Popple's findings help us understand is why we find them scary. Screams live in this acoustic region that's completely isolated from other forms of human communication, and that helps them capture our attention. So whether you're running for your life from a crazed murderer or just enjoying a good horror movie, be sure to thank auditory roughness and your amygdala for that visceral human response to the scream.